40 women in 40 blocks. I'm not even sure how many, but it was so prevalent. Stuart Jenner and a van full of volunteers were on Aurora Avenue the night of July 14th looking for homeless people to feed as part of an outreach effort. It was just, um, it was it was surreal. Just hours later, a sex worker would be abducted by a man, the FBI says, posed as a police officer and held her captive in his South Oregon home. Her harrowing escape grabbing national attention and shining a light on safety along Aurora Avenue. I think the big surprise is that there haven't been a lot more murders and a lot more deaths because of all the uh, the lack of protection for the women who are there. This case brings up a painful memory for Jenner. I had this really eerie sense after reading that story because it made me think of a high school classmate of mine. She was unfortunately murdered by Gary Ridgway, the Green River Killer. Pacific Highway South was an area Ridgway picked up his victims, including Jenner's classmate, Mary Bridget Meehan. It's another area that's seen similar problems as Aurora Avenue, but Jenner notes has seen improvement. The highway goes through several cities, including Des Moines. It involves trafficking. That's an absolute violation of human dignity and freedom. Unacceptable. Des Moines City Manager Michael Mathias says they're tackling the issue, something that takes time and coordinated efforts. The city taking a three-part approach, working with interagencies on the local and federal level, emphasis patrols and stings, and services available to help victims start a new life. I think we've been relatively successful, but to be honest, success to me would be zero. So we're not at that level, but that's where we're trying to get to. But back on Aurora, Jenner hopes his letter to lawmakers will save someone else. There, there could be another Bridget out there um, tonight. Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.